Welcome back. Today we are going to go through this problem. Okay, before we, you know, solve this, let's look into the, some basic information that uh, you already aware of it. Okay, log of x with base 10 is equal to, let's say, y. Okay, then what is x? x is equal to 10 power y, right? If you remember this, this particular you know, equation, all right, so now, in a similar way, I hope you remember from henderson Hasselbach equation, we had to do this similar uh, uh, particular transformation. So henderson Hasselbach equation, where pH is equal to pKa plus log base 10 of ionized concentration over unionized concentration, where ionized is nothing but a salt, non-ionized is nothing but an acid. Okay, so now if I, I want to rewrite this equation in this way, pH minus pKa is equal to log base 10 ionized or unionized concentration. I'm going to rewrite this again in this format. So it is nothing but log base 10 of x and this is nothing but y, right? So now 10 to the power of pH minus pKa is equal to ionized or unionized concentrations, right? Okay. Now, here we have the ionized concentration and unionized concentration, but in this particular problem, we are going to calculate percent ionized in blood and the information which we have is pKa and the pH, right? Okay, now how do you calculate percent uh, ionized? Okay, I'm going to show you momentarily. Let's say this is equation 1 and equation 2 percent ionized is equal to ionized over unionized plus ionized concentration that gives you I mean times 100 and gives you the percent ionized constant percent ionized okay this is ionized concentration this is unionized concentration I'm going to rewrite this equation in a different format okay it's ionized or unionized divided by ionized over unionized plus 1 times 100. This is the same equation. I have read it in a different format. Solve this at your convenient pace. Okay. So this is, let's say, equation 3. You're going to use equation 1 and 3. This one and this one now. All right. So now, as you can notice that Ionized over unionized concentrations is nothing but 10 to the power of pH minus pKa, right? Okay. So simply we're going to replace in this particular equation ionized over unionized with this 10 to the power of pH minus pKa. Let's solve this uh, first 10 to the power of pH minus pKa. It is in blood I'm calculating right now. So 10 to the power of pH is what? 7.4 in the blood, right? And the pK of the drug X is 7. Okay, if you solve that, it's 10 to the power of 0 0.4. It is nothing but 2.51. Okay, and let's plug in, in this equation. The above equation, in this particular equation, in this equation we are going to plug in. So, ionized or unionized, it's nothing but 10 to the power of pH minus pK, that is 2.51. So 2.51 divided by 2.51 plus 1 times 100 it gives you a value of 71.5. So the percent ionized in blood or drug X is 71.5. Okay. Okay, let's do that now in the urine. 10 to the power of pH minus pKa, which is nothing but ionized or unionized, right? Okay. So that is 10 to the power of pH in urine is 6.2 minus, what is the pKa? 7. That is equal to 10 to the power of minus 0 0.8. Okay, that is nothing but 0 0.16. Okay, now we're going to plug in into the equation 3 that is ionized or unionized or ionized or unionized plus 1 times 100. Okay, if I plug in into this equation, 0 0.16 divided by 0 0.16 plus 1 times 100 
13.7. So this Henderson Hasselbalch equation or pH partition hypothesis, you know, we use that basically the Henderson Hasselbalch equation to calculate the percent ionized. Okay. Let me show you in a different way. I'm going to write in a different way. So here, the percent ionized, I'm going to do it in a different way. That is 100 over 1 plus 10 to the power of pH minus, oh sorry, pKa minus pH. Okay. So if you solve the above problem using this equation, okay, let's do that. 100 divided by 1 plus, sorry. 100 divided by 1 plus 10 power, the pKa is how much? It's fixed, 7 minus 7.4. Okay, that is 100 divided by 1 plus 10 power 0 0.4. It's minus 0 0.4, right? Okay, that is nothing but 100 divided by 1 plus 0 0.4. Okay, if you solve this, you get a value of 71.5, which is similar to what we have solved here. So you can choose either one. All right, that is it.